Passionate Penny Fixer and I want to show you my little easy wrapping paper trick that might surprise you. I'm also going to kind of fluff my dining room for Thanksgiving. Thought I'd show you how I do it just without spending any money. It's going to be awesome. Also, if you click the link in the video, Kohl's is having some crazy Veterans Day sales. We are so thankful for you veterans. They've got some awesome deals. You can click the link in the video for some plates I'm going to talk about. Yeah, there's a lot of good things, but here's what I want to tell you. How many of you give me a heart or like have looked on Instagram, Facebook, wherever, Pinterest maybe, and seen things and thought, oh, their stuff is so much better than my stuff. Give me a harder like if that's you. If you're like, you look at those pages on Instagram, I was, y'all, I have a beautiful home. I have so much. I have so crazy much to be thankful for. But I kept scrolling through Instagram and seeing these beautiful homes and getting a little jealous and feeling like, why can't I have all that? And so I went to the store and I was like, okay, I've got some extra money, I'm gonna spend it because I just wanna have the stuff like they do. I want my, fa my, I want my dining room to look like the Instagram girls. And I realized that was a mistake because I have some big long-term goals that are more important than my short-term goals and all I need is a pretty dining room. So I'm gonna show you what I did with some wrapping paper and make you see how you can spend nothing. I literally spent $3 on this and about $7 on a table runner. That's all I spent, okay? Y'all, are you ready for this? Good morning. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Lipnick. Hi, Vale. Hi, Don. I'm so glad to see you. Okay, so here's your number one thing. You're going to take your, this is a $2.99 roll of wrapping paper from, uh, found it at Home Goods. It's very basic, very tan white, nothing exciting here. I'm just going to roll it out. Okay, the awesome thing about this is you could actually use two and you wouldn't have to even, um, you could totally cover your whole table. I just wanted to use one to use what I had. Then the other thing that I purchased while I was out, these were my two big purchases, was this. It was $7.99 at Home Goods. Um, you could actually use two rolls if you really don't want to have people messing up your table, which is probably what I'll do on actual Thanksgiving, but this is just to show you how pretty it can be. Um, here's the thing I have not found personally any throwawayable uh, tablecloths like the ones that you throw away that I like all that well. And so to me, this looks a little fancier, but I hardly spent any money. So that's all I bought. Then I came home and I'm gonna do everything just using what I have. Hi, Michelle, hi, Teresa. Regular wrapping paper, that's all I used. Okay, so we got that done. Then I came, okay, this is a picture that I had already. I got it from Hobby Lobby. This I had at home already, so this was $10. I got it on sale 50% off, because of course that's what you do. Then I had these already in my house, and I want to tell you something about decorating. I am not an amazing decorator. You're not going to come here. If you're looking for an Instagram level decorator, you're in the wrong place. But I can tell you that when you use things that are all coordinated, I've gotten rid of using, you don't have to use every pumpkin you have in your home to make Thanksgiving special. You just don't. This is a butcher block that I had in my kitchen. What you can do is grab some ribbon. So I had this ribbon that I bought at, I bought the ribbon over at Joann's. I love it. It costs like two bucks like for the ribbon because it was 50% off. I'll show you what I'm going to do over here. And then we'll actually do them. Oh, let's see. Oh, that'll be a good way for y'all to see it. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I took my ribbon, I cut it off. Can y'all see this? I'm just gonna wrap it around here. Y'all, I'm not even doing big fancy bows because I'm not good at making bows and I don't have time for that craziness. I'm just doing a simple knot. But look how that very simple, I mean, all you need is some ribbon girls. We can do this, this is doable. Then I'm gonna show you what it'll look like. This is one I already did when you add your silverware to it. Can y'all see this table? Okay, so here's my table. And this was actually um, my mother-in-law's silver. So that was a gift to us. Y'all don't get rid of pretty things when you have them because they're nice to have every once in a while. So then we're gonna add some plates. And we're gonna add some these were plates that I got the whole set last year at Michael's. I got this whole set for like $3 on clearance. So I'm going to put those right on top. Okay, up there. Can you see? I'll bring this down just a little bit so you can see. Okay. So 
there we've got those. I'm put those around the table. And then I've got, I had leftover pumpkins from the fall stuff that I had. So I just had these laying around. So I've got little pumpkins. You might be able to get those on clearance. So super simple. These are glasses that we've had forever. Nothing fancy. They just look fancy because they're glass. Um, y'all, white plates are my favorite trick. Hang on, I'm gonna go ahead and move y'all back out here. White plates are my favorite trick for any kind of room like this because they match everything and look fantastic with every style. And you'll see, hang on, I'm gonna do the rest real fast right now. You can see, great ideas, thank you. Oh, thank you, Kathy. So, let's go ahead and let's finish. Yesterday I saw that one store had place cards, Thanksgiving place cards that were really pretty for like $8. I didn't make these yet, but you can, I'm going to make mine just with regular writing. I'm going to set these out. I'm not putting out my silver yet because then I'd have to do my silver. Y'all know if you let silver set out, it tarnishes super fast and I don't want to deal with that. These were things that I just found in the rest of my house. This is from Target. This is a bowl that I got from Ikea for like $7.99. Then this is one of my favorite things. I bought this dish at, you can see, I bought it at Home Goods for $7.99. I put it in the dishwasher, the price were off. $7.99, but it's so pretty. She wasn't using them, so I added those here. Oh, 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 and then this I bought for, from Jane last year. It's just a felt little thingy. Here we go. So my house doesn't look like the girls on Pinterest. It's not perfect. Um, it's not as fresh and new and beautiful, but it's not bad at all. Like I'm content with this. What do y'all think now? I'm super content. It didn't take long. It was so worth it. And while it's not perfect and it's not Pinterest worthy, and it's funny, I posted on Instagram and didn't even do well. I'm like, all these DIY people do so well on Instagram and their stuff is so popular and I'm not as good as they are. But you guys, you know what? This is fine. It feels beautiful for me. I'm super happy with it. It's better than what I had to start with for sure. And I didn't spend any money. So when you see people have beautiful over the top homes, and this is, y'all, this is a struggle as a blogger because I know when people like stuff, they kind of like this very basic normal decorating. What they go crazy for is the over the top people who have ridiculous decorating and amazingly perfect stuff. That's not reality. If you're on a budget anyways, like do I really want to decorate at home just to show you guys online or do I really want a paid off home? That's what I want. The paid off house is more important to me than the perfect house. So, hey, I need to write that down. Listen to that, hear it one more time, that was good. The paid off house is more important than the perfect house. Do not sacrifice your long-term financial goals to have a pretty table. Use what you have already, edit yourself mercilessly. A couple things that I will tell you I did as I was looking through this is, I got rid of everything that wasn't white or very soft colored. So I didn't keep anything. I don't have any of my orange pumpkin stuff out here. None of that stuff stayed. I kept it really simple. So edit your stuff just because you own a pumpkin, just because you own something that says fall doesn't mean you have to have it here today. So for me, I stuck with really basic stuff. If you love it and you love the way it looks, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter what other have, it matters what makes you happy. You love it, looks great, super cute, thank you. Okay, would you have to wash dishes before dinner? Yes, I'm gonna, I'll wash the dishes before dinner. So I'm leaving it out to make me happy because y'all it's COVID and I am like at my house a million percent of the time with my family. And so I wanted to look at a pretty room. So I'm gonna leave these dishes out and then I'll wash them right before Thanksgiving day. Um, you think it's gorgeous. You love how you gather what you have and made your dining room pretty. Thank you, Debbie. Beautiful, where did you purchase the centerpiece? The centerpiece 
So this and this were from Target. This was from Ikea. This was from some wheat. You could use stuff from your garden if you've got grasses or anything like that. You could totally use that. Um, fabulous, better than what you could do. You, you could totally do it on a budget. Y'all could all do this. You're paid off in staying at the Dollar Tree budget to decorate. I love that. I actually, I have some Dollar Tree stuff, some little pumpkins that I got the Dollar Tree, but I already have the white pumpkin, so I decided not even to pull out my Dollar Tree stuff. You like that saying, I'm going to have to steal it. Michelle, I'm going to write that down, but you gotta, I'm going to have to remember it. Paid off. Paid off house is better than a pretty house. I gotta write it down when I said. Anyways, um, oh Vicky, thank you so much for saying you stay here because I'm real. Yeah, I encourage y'all today. Do something to fluff your home, especially if you're in a season where you are like me and just sick and tired of being sick and tired at home. I love my space, but I'm a little over it. It's been a lot to be here all the time for so long. If you're struggling with that too, I just encourage you fluff it a wee bit. I did this on Sunday. I was over sitting at the computer desk and I just need to get up and do something and this is what I did. Um, paid off house looks really nice. Thank you, Yamila, looks amazing. Also guys, there is an awesome deal. Lots of awesome deals over at Kohl's today. They have a great deal on Fiesta wear. Fiesta wear, to me, they've got beautiful white Fiesta wear. It's real nice and chubby. Um, great deal on that if you want white dishes. What is funny is this is truly who I've been for my whole life since I was 20 years old. When I was 20, young, sweet girl, get married. I picked white dishes for our home for the very first thing. Then I thought that I needed red dishes for a short season. I hated them every day and I went back to white. So classic is white dishes. So if you, not, don't go buy white dishes because I said that. But if you're in the market for some dishes, consider all white. How's that? Um, paid off house is better than a perfect house. I'm writing it down. Paid off, thank you. Paid off house is better than a perfect house. That's gonna be a meme today, y'all. Um, I'm gonna write it down. Thank y'all so much for your help because this brain goes a lot of places when I'm talking to you guys. Guys, I encourage you, have a beautiful day today. Do something special to make your home feel special. I am crazy thankful for you and praying the sweetest, most happy, amazing day for you today. Have an awesome day, we'll talk soon. Bye guys.